Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. I'm actually getting ready to head out to an event tonight. And I just wanted to jump on really quickly and clarify some things for you uh, with regards to the last post. Uh, and remember, uh, I have been reposting quite a bit. I haven't been making a whole lot of original content lately, but I reposted um, a, a post by Black Coffee and uh, it was all about masculine men, you know, approaching, masculine men pursuing. And, you know, now <laughs> there are a bunch of people that want to fight me and him in the comments because he's been responding to some of these messages as well. Um, but, you know, okay, like I said, it is what it is. Men who are predominantly masculine energy, they pursue, they go out in the, they go out and penetrate the world. Okay. They, they go out and they get what they want. They are brave. They are courageous. And that's, that's what it requires. Having the things you want in this world, it requires a level of bravery, it requires a level of courage that the average person just does not have. And so, you know, 90, what is it, 95%, 98% of people are, are not going to do what the other 2% do. Like, that's just the bottom line. You all are not willing to do what the 2% or 5% is doing. And so, yes, there's tons of men's, men in the comments like, oh, you know, this is BS and, oh, it's so different today and this and that and the third and, you know, I, okay, y'all are full of excuses. You are full of excuses. And I, I bet you, you're the same people that are telling me all the reasons why you can't live in the house you want or drive the car you want or have the job you want or, or whatever. You're full of excuses. You're full of excuses. And there are a lot of people who respond with this nihilist, um, you know, fatalistic, thank you so much, sweetheart. <laughs> thank you. Uh, this nihilist, fatalistic, you know, black pill, like, come on. Is it that bad? Is it that bad? Okay. So no, as long as I'm breathing on earth, there will be hope. Okay. As long as I'm here and I'm breathing, there is hope. I will never give up. Never give up. I will never give up trying to teach y'all how to love one another, trying to teach y'all how to be healthy, trying to teach you how to communicate better, trying to teach you how to have better conflict resolution. I will never give up. As long as there's breath in my body, I will never have this nihilistic, fatalistic, oh, everybody's trash. It's horrible out here. It's so awful. That will never come out of my mouth. Yes, it has. You know what it has done? It's, it has become more challenging. And can I be real? Like this, this that we're in right now, like we're going to see the cream rise to the top. That's what, that's all that's happening. We're going to see the people who have it in them to persist, the people who have the right mindset, the people who are brave enough to keep getting up. I'm, I'm going to keep getting up. I'm going to keep getting up. I'm going to get knocked down. And I'm going to keep getting up and I'm going to get knocked down and I'm going to keep getting up and I'm going to get knocked down and I'm going to keep giving up. I'm going to keep getting up because that's that's how I'm made. But that's all that's happening. Yes, life is getting more challenging. It's, it's all the way around. Agreed. Life is getting very challenging right now for a lot of us. But you know what it's also doing It's separating the wheat from the chaff. That's what's really happening. We're really seeing what y'all made of. And a lot of y'all, y'all just give up. You just throw in the towel. You stop being brave. You stop being courageous. You stop trying. So, I mean, I'm just keeping it. I'm just keeping it real. A lot of y'all have just plum given up. You just given up. I was at an event the other day and um, I was at somebody's house for like, you know, just an event they were having. And there was a lady there, we were talking about relationships, and she actually said the words, well, you know, I believe in fairy tales, I believe that my man is going to find me, and, you know, I, I, I don't have any time to be out here doing this and that, or being on dating apps or whatever, I'm just not going to, you know, really do anything. And I was like, okay, we're going to see how that works for you, because last I checked, it does require something like you just being at home and going to work and, and coming back and, and, you know, it requires something. 
But okay, you know, I'm not going to take away anybody's, you know, fairy tale. I'm not going to take away anybody's, you know, wish and, and I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to crap on anybody's dreams. But you have got, you have got to get up. You got to show up. Like that's how you're going to have the life that you want. Okay, I had a question. Is a woman's confidence boosted by the number of men she rejects? Not good women. And remember, I've already talked about this. There are two dating pools. And see, this is what a lot of you all don't want. For some reason, you don't want to accept this. There are two dating pools, right? There's a pool of healthy people over here. This is where all the healthy people are, the people who are securely attached, the people who are emotionally mature, the people who know how to communicate, the people who know how to have hard conversations, the people who want to commit, the people who, you know, want to have something real, want to have something genuine, right? The, this, the, the securely attached people are here. And what, what y'all don't want to, uh, you know, understand is if you're running into all these crazy people, all these, you know, horrible people, all these people who won't commit, all these people who don't know how to communicate and don't have good conflict resolution skills and are scared and are, they, they're over here. So in my mind, all that's telling you is you're in this dating pool. You're in the insecurely attached dating pool. You're in the pool full of people that have problems, that have wounds, that have all kinds of, you know, they got all this stuff. And a lot of them are not dealing with it. And so they're going to stay in this pool. The question is, what are you doing over there? Are you one of those people? Are you insecurely attached? OK, that's the real question you need to ask yourself. That's what nobody is talking about is, is you if you're if that's all you're seeing, then you're over here. That's what it's telling you. You're over here and you need to work on yourself. You need to do the work to heal so you can go over here where all the securely attached, emotionally mature. OK, people who want to commit, people who want something real. People who just want to date you, okay? People who aren't falling in other people's DMs. People who are not obsessed with novelty. People who are, you know, that you got to get over here, okay? This is where the, the masculine and feminine dance is happening, right? Men, masculine men do not have a problem being men. They do not have a problem, you know, finding a way. And they have, and, and these men have very clever ways. Y'all act like these men are just cold, walking up to women in the street. They have very clever ways to get a woman's attention. Okay, so I, I, was, I was raised in the 80s and the 90s. And one of the top ways that a man wanted to get your attention without the cold approach is he would buy you a drink. Do y'all remember that? Y'all might be too young. Y'all, I think y'all are too young to remember that. But back in my day, okay, I'm gonna pull the grandma move. You ready? Back in my day, if we were out at the club or at a bar or at a restaurant, that's what men did. They bought you a drink. See, even that shows a measure of courage. Even that shows a measure of masculinity. Hey, 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 waiter. Hey, bartender. That lady over there, what is she drinking? Oh, she's having a, a she's having a cosmopolitan. Okay. I want you to make another one and send it to her, send it to her table and let her know, you know, that it came from me. That's what men in my day did. I've had men pay my check, pay my bill. When I was out somewhere, pay my bill. That's a way. Like there's all kinds of ways a masculine man, a strong masculine man will make his presence known like, hey, you, I'm interested in you. And here's the thing that modern day men don't get. See, this is why modern day men are tripping. Y'all are tripping off of the money. Y'all are tripping off of, well, what if I do that and she don't like me and I done bought a drink, I done wasted my money. No, here's, here's the thing, sweetheart. Masculine men do things simply for the sake of doing them. They do things. I've had men do all kinds of amazing things for me simply for the sake of doing them. Simply because... They wanted to make me smile. They wanted to get my attention. Like it, there was no, like, see, this generation, y'all are full of all the transactional stuff. Well, if he buy me the drink, I got to do this. 
Or if I buy, if I pick up her check, she got to do this. That's that's what y'all are on. But the how I was raised, yeah, we it was like you did stuff just to do it. That was it. There was no expectation. I can't tell y'all how many men did that. How many men picked up my tab? How many men bought my coffee? How many men sent me a drink? How many men, I mean, did all kinds of things. And it was just for the sake of doing it. It was just because they were good, healthy men. And they were like, you know what? I want to make this lady smile. I want to make her blush or, you know, I want to make her look. That was it. That was it. All this stuff y'all on with this whole, oh, well, if I, if, if, if I let him pay for my dinner, I got to go home with him. Okay. Excuse me. So your, 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 uh, your girl is worth $29, $39. That's what it's worth to you. What I look like going home with a man who paid for my $40 meal. I think my girl is worth a little more than $40. So the fact that your mind is even going there, it's like, that's the thing now. We're in this transactional thing that y'all got going on. If he do this, I got to do this. Or if I do this, she got to do this. No. Can you just do some things just for the sake of? Like, let and, and I'm going to be honest. When I give, it makes me feel good. Even when I give to people. I'm not giving with the intention on getting anything back. I'm giving because it makes me feel good. So where are those men? Where are those men? And here's what some of y'all are going to say. Well, these modern day women ran us off. It's these modern day women, these modern day women that y'all done messed it up. Okay. And you know what? I'm going to give y'all that. Okay. I'm going to give y'all that. I'm going to give it to you. That yes, unfortunately, we are seeing, you know, I like I said, I don't, I don't know how we got here. I don't know how we got here that a woman, a biologically a born woman would want to compete with a man. I don't have any interest at all in competing with men at all. None at all. I love being a woman. And this idea of getting rid of chivalry and getting rid of uh, gender roles and, and, and men paying for dinners and, oh, well, we can go 50-50. Like all of that, it just it, it makes my blood run cold. I'm not interested in any of that. I want to be the girl and I want to be with the man. That's it. And I want him to do what men do and I'm going to do what girls do. That's it. That's it. And I want my mere presence to just make him feel all good inside, make him feel strong, make him feel capable, make him feel, oh my God, like he could just have this whole world on his shoulders. That's what my presence does for a healthy masculine man. He is of service to me. And he does that because of all the love bursting out of his heart. But can I be real? A lot of men today you all are completely disconnected from your heart. So you may have a backbone, and some of y'all don't even have that. <laughs> some of y'all don't even have the backbone, but some of y'all have a backbone. A lot of y'all have balls, but a lot of you don't have heart. You are not connected to your heart at all. And that's why there is no love. That's why there is no genuine connection or caring or service. Like all of that is gone. There is no approach because there is no love. So many men today are completely disconnected from their heart. It's like if you use the word love, like I'm now like using the word love with my friends, male and female. And I'm just saying it all the time, telling them I love them, telling them I miss them, telling like I'm just doing that all the time now. And it's like you should see everybody cringe. I never thought we would get here that people would cringe at the thought of me saying, I love you. That people would cringe at the thought of me saying, I've missed you. Where have you been? Where have you been? We haven't seen each other in so long. Like that's, that's beyond sad to me. So we have got to reconnect to our hearts, especially men. But you know what? There's some women out here that are disconnected from their heart. Most of the women that I coach, most of the women that I work with, they're all up in here. They're all up in their head. They're all up in their head. They're, they're in this doing any energy. I've got to do. I've got to, you know, be whatever it is this person wants me to be. All this people pleasing energy. And then they're all up in their head. They need to connect to their heart. They have to connect to their heart again. That is the key. That is the key. Uh, I think that women who are successful are automatically confused 
uh, for competing? Uh, not necessarily. There is a difference. There is a difference and you need to know the difference. I asked a man if he could buy me flowers simply because they make me smile. And his answer was basically, why would I buy when you can buy them yourself? Ooh, okay, well, that's not your man. <laughs> that's, not the, that's not the man for you. Because, like I said, healthy men, there is no transaction. Like, they do things just for the love of doing it. And, I mean, and that, that's, that's the same with healthy women. Like when I do things for people, I, I honest to, I tell you not, I honest to God, I don't expect anything back. I'm just doing it because I have lots of love in my heart to give and I, I, it has to overflow. It has to go to someone. But this idea of not doing something, you know, like, oh, well, you can do it yourself or why would I do that? Yeah, that person's very disconnected from their heart. And a lot of people are. A lot of people are today. They're incredibly disconnected from their heart. That's where we are. That's, that's, that's where we've landed. And people are so afraid. I have never seen more scared people. People are deathly afraid of so many things. Men are afraid of women. Women are afraid of men. I mean, I've never seen so much fear. Fear is just completely running rampant. And it's like, how did we get here? I, 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 I will never see the day that I will fear a man. Like, no, I really believe men exist to take care of me. I believe men exist to protect me and to provide for me. And yes, I've dated some men that, you know, let me down, that disappointed me. And I said, okay, well, not him, you know, not him. That does not make me want to throw away an entire gender. That makes me say, not you. And we have to know the difference. And it's the same with men. Come on, guys. You've had some, some women who disappointed you, let you down, hurt you. But for you to want to throw away an entire gender, that's very unhealthy. That's telling me something about you. It's not telling me something about them. It's telling me something about you. And what you need to do if you're a mature person, you need to say, not her, not her, not women like her. Right. You don't sit there and, and paint with this broad brush. All women are crazy. All women are this. All women are that. They're not. They're not. There was a gentleman on that post about, you know, masculine men approach women. And he's like, no, you know, the Me Too movement. And this. OK, what? What? OK, who do you know personally who suffered from Me Too? Who do you know who knows someone who suffered from Me Too? Like, seriously. When was the last time, like you all act like this is every other woman is, is, is talking to HR about you or trying to get in. No, it's, it's really a small percentage of people. It really is. It's a very small percentage of women. Most women are not running to HR to talk to HR about you saying their, their dress look nice. You know, like, no, no, come on. Yeah. She said one person equals the whole group now. Yeah. But that's, that, that's telling me something about you. You're not telling me anything about them. You're telling me that I don't have the emotional maturity. I am not critically thinking. I am looking for any excuse that I can find so I can, you know, discredit an entire gender. That's what it's telling me. But people who are mature, they know better than that. Like I said, I've been disappointed by many a man. And I'm like, yeah, not you. <laughs> not you again. Not you anymore. That's all it makes me say is, yeah, not you. I'm not doing that. I'm not dating you anymore or men like you. That's it. That's it. And if I see something that looks similar, I'm like, mm, I'm going to have to look a little deeper because this, this looks similar. This looks similar to what I've already been through. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, I'm just, that's what it is. Mac masculine men, you know, they pursue, period. They go after what they want. Also, the Me Too movement is about abuse, right? Um... It was about, um, yes, people in power, men in power, men in power, abusing women or, you know, taking advantage of women. So, but most of us, you know, have not experienced that. So, but yeah, that's just what it is. This, this one man that I chose doesn't mean all men are like that. That's right. That's right. That's it. So men, if you're on here, <laughs> the reality is this, for you to say, well, you know, times have changed and, 
you know, this and that. Okay, just because things are different doesn't mean they're better. Like, again, that's a part of critical thinking. Just because things are different doesn't mean they're better. Okay, it, it's just like dating apps. Y'all know how I feel about them. And yet, you know, everybody's like, well, that's just how we do it now. Okay, so what? <laughs> doesn't mean it's better. Doesn't mean it's right. But because everybody's doing it, oh, okay, then you got to do it. So that's it. That's it. I'm trying to connect how appropriately approaching women relates to that movement. Yeah, I, I don't know either. Because again, I am confused and I have actually, I have men that I coach and I've tried to give them to male coaches and they keep coming to me. I have given them word for word what to say. Word for word. And they always come back, oh, you know, I can't do it and this and that. And what if she says I'm a creep and this and that. I say, you know what? This isn't even about you doing what I'm at. This is about your fear. That's what they're not willing to accept. They keep saying, oh, the women are trash and they're not worth it anymore. And the, the truth is they are fearful because I've given men the script. You are going to say, hey, how are you? And she's going to say, okay. And you're going to say, you look like someone I would want to get to know. My name's Derek. Like, that's it. You're not going to touch her. You're not going to, like, that's it. Hey, how are you? You look like someone I would love to get to know. My name is. That's it. But they won't do it because of either their fear of rejection or fear of, you know, and, I mean, and I'm going to be honest with you all. Yes, we don't know what's going to happen. That's what courage is. We are doing something. That's what bravery is. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know how the woman is going to respond. And that's called so. When you go for your dreams, when you start that business, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know if the business is going to be successful or not. But you do it. But you do it. But the truth is, I have given men this script. And I have had tons of women say, oh, yeah, if a guy, even a guy that I'm not interested in, even a guy that's not attractive, if he simply said, hey, you look like someone I'd like to get to know and told me my name, I would not, you know, I, I, I'd probably say, hey, I have a boyfriend or whatever. They're not going to say anything crazy. That's it. But I have given the script, which is don't touch her. You know, don't walk up and touch her. Don't get too close. Like I have given every little step for them to do. And they always come back and say, yeah, I couldn't do it. Yeah, it was, you know, it just felt weird. No, the problem's you. The problem is you. You lack the confidence. You lack the bravery. You lack the courage to do it. And that's what men are not saying. But what y'all are saying, oh, but of course, oh, the women just aren't worth it. The women are just horrible. Don't nobody want to approach them. See, that's, that's, that's your knee jerk. And guess what? That could be true part of the time, but it's not true all of the time. There are plenty of amazing women out here. And a lot of them are not on social media. A lot of them are not on dating apps. They're out in the real world. But you're missing out on those women because what y'all want to do is you want to go into a woman's DM because there's this like false sense of security. OK, it's not going to sting as much because it's just typed words or, oh, it's not going to sting as much if she just don't respond. But see, if you have to be face to face in front of a woman out in the real world, it gets real. It gets real. That's the difference. And that's what men are not saying. That's that's the truth. That's what y'all are not saying. That's a whole different level of masculinity that you have to pull out of your body that you that that's either not in there or you don't want to. So, okay, I got to get going. I got to uh, be at my event in 10 minutes and I'm about 20 minutes away. <laughs> so, so thank you for joining me this evening. I appreciate you all. Let me just, all right, there we go. Thank you for joining me. Um, I will be going live later in the week and just talking about some of the changes to my platform. But if you're coming in on the end, please watch the replay. Have a wonderful evening. And as always, stay open to love.